Okay, let's take a look at last night slash this morning's project. The next revision of the levitator. This is the first one I started to build. I didn't like that. As I waited for the glue to dry, I realized it was ugly. So I built this one. And while I was waiting for that glue to dry, I got impatient, and I built this one. I like this one the best. So we're just going to get this one out of here. It's hideous. Okay, this classic levitator levitates, but it needs a contact point. Without it, it'll fall over according to Earnshaw's theorem. This new variation we came up with doesn't need a contact point. It's attracted to a certain point and then it's repelled. It attracts it, but if you press it, it actually repels. So the question becomes, can we take the levitating principle of a classic levitator and get rid of this contact point? According to Earnshaw's theorem, we cannot, but nothing's impossible. Here's the contact point on this Mendocino solar motor. Pretty cool idea. The only friction is that contact area there. This is all frictionless. There is some resistance due to magnetic resistance, but as far as physical friction and wear, very little. If we can incorporate this into it, will be at zero friction. E for Emily, she'll like that. That's cool. It attracts it until it gets right there and it stops. This is the last one I built. The third one. This was the second one I built. The glue still drying. And the first one I built, the glue still drying, but it I'm not real pleased with it and it looks kind of ugly. We'll have to put a magnet here. That's some magnets I glued together. I don't like it, it's just ugly. But these look pretty cool. I need to order some new magnets the right size. I just kind of had to make do and double some up. I need some clear tubing, but they both do the same thing. I press it, it'll just slide, it does not want to. I can force it. As you can see.
washers and the poker chip just keep the magnets from shattering if something hits it. I actually need a larger washer here. I want it thin like this one, not as thick as the poker chip, but it needs to be wider to protect the whole magnet. I actually could use larger disc magnets here, but I, I didn't have any. So I need to order some more. And I can double these up to make it a lot stronger. So I could get a bigger gap there. Double or triple them. Same with this. I can increase that. I'd, I'd probably rather not do here to reduce the weight and just increase it here. Keep this pretty light. These are aluminum rods, so they're not magnetic. That's just a Teflon or plastic all thread, threaded rod. So I could put a little motor on it like this, a little solar motor, be pretty cool. Still gonna have friction here and here. We still have a little bit of work to do.